Hi guys, this is Jess with your All Signs General Reading Love Edition for the week of February 20th. For those of you who are interested in your own personal reading, check out the link in the description box below. Uh, this particular reading, which I'm just going to do singles in a general sense. I will bring up the sexes if it comes out, and but I will stick to just general for time purposes, okay? Um, now let's get into the reading and obviously we're going to start with Aries. You guys are at a crossroads. Um, singles. We're going to focus on singles first. You guys are at a crossroads when it comes to love. You may feel like love is there and it, it you know, it can give you an ego boost. Um, but you may find love to be very toxic and you need to work. Like work is more important to you um, than love. You also may feel like it gets a little bit challenging with sex and you may find people to be very toxic. So for some of you, it's an ego boost. Yeah, but you may feel like it's a little too much to put too much energy into love right now. I mean, that makes sense. North Node is in your sign. So, yeah, that all of that makes sense. So some of you are just hella busy, hella busy when it comes to um, work. You have someone coming in your life, Aries. There has been a slowdown. Uh, this is a fire. I'm uh, sorry. Some of you is an earth sign. Others of you is a water sign. Someone's coming in. They just want to express their love. They want to tell you how they feel. Um, so do expect repair and recovery and a rekindling of a love for you singles out there, especially if you are Aries woman. But it could be some of you Aries men going um, either putting yourself out there again and reaching out to people. Also, you will want to repair something with someone. I get a water sign. If you are, um, if you are Aries man, you want to repair something or someone wants to repair something with you. If you're Aries woman is what I'm saying. It has taken this man a very long time, a long ass time, um, but he's doing it or you're going to be doing it. And it's going to kind of come out of nowhere and it's going to kind of take things off really quickly. You would feel like, yeah, well, there's some things that we still have to discuss. I need to tell you how I feel about things. God damn, you really going to be telling them how you feel. <laughs> you're not going to leave anything. Um, you're not going to leave anything behind. You're going to tell them exactly how you feel. And you could be cutting them out, like giving them a what for and saying, yeah, and cutting them out. Uh, others of you, you get in a better headspace because now you can kind of get some truths out, but you'll still be waiting around. Um, thinking about this person if you cut them out if you want to have nothing to do with them mm -hmm. they may feel rejected and conflicted about this situation but they still care about you something like that interesting okay couples um aries how do you feel about your person you love them they are the most important thing to you and everyone knows it or you have no problem telling them that or they could be telling you that for some of you you're pregnant you're announcing a pregnancy or giving birth entering into a higher level of a commitment together um, and you just feel like this is a very healthy exciting and fulfilling relationship loving relationship your challenge is um, pregnancy. So if someone is pregnant, that may be a challenge. Someone's career could be a challenge. Making someone happy. How do I make you happy? How do I keep you happy? That could be a challenge in this relationship. Of course, you want it to continue. And you're going to be... Um, Kind of sitting back, especially if you're an Aries woman, you're sitting back and letting him do the work and doing what needs to be done. Or if you're really enjoying your person this week, I see just really enjoying your mate. They're attracted to you, Aries. They, God, okay. Somebody, listen, some of you Aries are getting ready to get married. Some of you Aries are getting married or you're rekindling your relationship. Or um, you may feel like this week is a great week. Sorry, guys. This week is a really great week for you and your mate. And I keep getting like someone's getting pregnant. You guys are starting a family. You're moving in together. You're making it official. Things are 
being taken to the next level because they've changed or they acknowledge that you've changed. So now they want to take things to the next level. I see marriage. I see baby. That's why I keep saying marriage, baby. If this was like any third party people, that's going to be done because um, the two of you are really going to make things a go together and you're going to be really locked in. OK, so that's what I have for Aries. <laughs> now let's look at Taurus. Hi, Taurus. For those of you who are interested in your own personal reading, do check out the link in the description box below. I will be doing the singles read in, in a general way. If sex has come up, I'll indicate that, but it's just going to be general. Uh, so you guys are really focusing on work, not necessarily love singles. You're coming across as uh, someone who's work focused, right? Not really open to communicate. If someone tries to flirt with you you won't even acknowledge it that's going to change you will start to kind of get up and get out and have some fun um is what it looks like some people may say well damn it took you long enough that sort of thing some of you are about to um reach out to someone you're <laughs> You, you you have some either someone wants to reach out to you that you don't trust that really has uh, put a bad taste in your mouth or you're reaching out to someone to recover and repair something uh, and rekindle. But either you're so scared to do it, you might do it this week, you might not because you, you know, your fears may get the best of you. Um, some of you, if you do, you could resent the person because it's like, I love you, but, you know, I don't trust you, but I miss you. It's that type of thing. And some of you would just have it on your brain. You want to recoup and rekindle something. But again, you don't trust them. But that's really where your heart is. That's where your heart is. That's who the person that's the person you really do care about. I do see you reaching out. And for some of you, it is to give divorce papers in the situation to get the ending of the situation going and that sort of thing. Others of you is going to be really to repair this and get back on track and balance everything out, even though you still feel some kind of way about the situation. It's hella broken or there are some money issues between the two of you, that sort of thing. Get in a better headspace as far as love is concerned or just life for you single Tauruses. You have communication coming. Somebody is trying to make this happen again. So they're trying to get back into your good graces. It's destined for you to either be with someone, uh, for the two of you to rekindle and recoup this relationship. It's destined to happen. Also, it's destined for some great things to come into your life. If none of, if some of you are like, well, I have no love life. No one's coming this week. Then you will be destined to be a star if you're putting your out there if you're focusing on business it is just going to go in your favor this is powerful powerful energy going in your favor Taurus for those of you who are single whether it produces a love person or a love offer um, or not you just have a great opportunity to make things happen and for your more than your wishes to come true but I see love coming back even if this is new love um, you may be giving it a go but you're very you know you're very on guard on guard but this person is going to disable you if it's new and even if it's a, a familiar person they are going to disable you and if you are a Taurus man you really can't help it especially if you you meet an Aquarius woman or a Libra woman um, especially Aquarius woman it's like she's too good to be true you don't believe it <laughs> but but it's true it's true and whoever this woman is um, or man it may be too good to be true but it is true guys it's true couples how do you feel about your person Taurus oh well you have a bone to pick you want to let them know what time it is um so you're going to be initiating some contact with your person getting some things off your chest and once you do then you'll take a step back <laughs> or you may be leaving them stumped like they don't know what to say now you know now now you're waiting on them to say something and it could take them a minute that sort of thing Your challenge with them is that they're too controlling. They could be a bit manipulating. You don't trust them. They constantly getting caught in their lies. They could be confusing all over the place. Try to um, just try to get over on you with their emotional manipulation. And you can see them as someone who could be quite in and out. 
you this is a relationship that either is already on the rocks you've lost it or you could find yourself in preparation of letting this go and you will be lick, licking your wounds but while you're licking your wounds a whole nother relationship or somebody's going to come into your life who you may find yourself falling for immediately this could also be a repair like this person comes back in and, and you guys are back on track again okay let me see yeah you guys aren't going anywhere <laughs> So although you miss them, you wish, you long, and you want, um, this is a coming back together again. So whatever this is, if this is a breakup, it'll be temporary because the two of you will be kind of back together again. It, for others of you, you will be breaking up with this person and a new person is going to come and that's your person. No, that's your husband. That's your wife. That is your person. That's your forever person. I see marriage, pregnancy, either rekindling this or with a new person. You're going to take your time reaching out. It's like you said what you said and you did what you did and you're going to take your time. That'll be up to them. Their feelings for you. They feel like you focus on work too much. You're very stubborn, but you're very loyal. You're caring. You're kind. Um, you're an ideal partner to some extent. Um, you may have cut them off and now you don't want to be bothered or they have to tell you how they truly felt. And now and now they're kind of paying for it because you don't want to be bothered. You've walked away. Something like that. Like I've had. Yeah, I had to tell you the truth. And now now all of a sudden you're offended. And now you walked away and I don't hear from you anymore. And challenge with you is coming back and making this um, making this happen again. And but they really want to because they're really happy with you. Some of them are secretly pregnant. Mm -hmm. Secretly, they are pregnant. Um, I see it's pregnancy, Taurus. So if you don't want to get pregnant or have someone get pregnant, be careful. It's all up and through your cards. I mean, hello. Um, you are somebody can definitely get pregnant. You're gonna be like, ha, ha, what you, especially if you're a Taurus man, how to how to you did it. <laughs> Talk about how you, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I do see that. Um, they could also be hiding it for quite some time, especially if you're someone who, um, you like you're worth something, <laughs> she's gonna keep it a secret long enough so that she can't have an abortion, something like that. But I do see a secret pregnancy. Big time. Or someone's hiding the fact that they're married or something's going on. Some secret shit's going on. Okay, didn't I say this? Um, This person is... Oof. This person might be out for blood. Taurus, be careful. They're not going to fight nice. They're going to fight real dirty. They're going to fight dirty, say all kind of crazy stuff to you and then leave. So like I was saying, it really could be it's it really does um, show that there's the two of you are on your way to a breakup, a fallout, a fight. Um, this person is quite reckless. They don't know what to let come out of their mouth. You're going to be the one left standing pretty, pretty, even though you're going to be the one licking your wounds. You they are going to come back and it'll be better like than ever. Or they're going to come or a new person is coming in and that's going to be your person. So it's like you will look back and say, well, shit, it was worth it because I, I got rid of them and I met this person. Something like that for real. But this person is getting ready to curse you out. It could be some a lot of drama coming your way between you and this person. That's what I have for Taurus. Now let's go to Gemini. Hi Gemini, for those of you who are interested in your own personal reading, check out the link in the description box below. Well, I'm only going to focus on generals for singles, not men and women. If it comes out, I will address it then, guys. Uh, so singles, you're coming up as um, kind of someone who may have two people. All right. You're seeing a couple of people. Money could be a bit funny. Life could just be uh, busy and you're trying to keep all the balls in the air. Uh, but if it is that you're opening yourself up to a couple of people, you may have to repair something with one like, OK, and then this person needs my attention. They want to talk to me. They you know, that's sort of thing. you are thinking about someone that you haven't spoken to probably in quite some time some of you even thinking about taking a break yeah from love because you're not in a good space for love you're still licking your wounds missing the hell out of someone some of you are missing the hell out of someone especially you gemini men yeah you love someone it's pretty deep it got pretty nasty the person said some crazy stuff to you or been saying some crazy stuff to them to you or you them but nonetheless you love them that's your family that's your heart that's your um, safe space so you could be uh, thinking about wanting to repair something with someone who you're no you're no longer talking to singles for singles mm, okay uh 
um let's see Ugh, you've had this person in your mind a lot and this person may have you may feel like they forced your hand into saying and doing things that is very um, problematic and kind of like you can't come back from but you are thinking about wanting to repair it and get back in a better space or them you Mm hmm. You have a, a relationship coming, one that really could go to distance. If you guys are starting to focus on love, uh, excuse me, some of you are focusing on love and because you've been focusing on so much of it. Um, but this is someone familiar. This isn't someone who uh, it could be for some of you, a brand new person that just comes out of nowhere. But that'll be for those of you who are more focused on work, career and everything in your practical life is really looking up and you're really focusing on that. Then love just comes and sweeps you off your foot out of nowhere. The two of you can have sex like immediately, but it will turn into something real. You'll be the one to have that story and say, yeah, we had sex the same day. Um, we That was like uh, 50 years ago. <laughs> Like you could stay with this person and we got married next week, the week after we moved in, like things could just happen. Boom, boom, boom with you and this person. Um, and don't be surprised if you go back to someone or they come back to you. It's a lot of going back, coming back, going on or waiting and thinking about someone and then making a move. It's almost like a Tourette moment. Like you're thinking, you've been thinking, you've been thinking. It's like, damn it, I'm not going to think I'm just going to do it. That type of thing. It's about a truth. You feeling like you need to speak a truth. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be you speaking a truth. It certainly could be someone texting you, responding to you, reaching out to you, singles. Um, and you respond almost immediately. It will be one of those where the response is almost immediate. Um, it could be, like I said, now we are back in repair. We're together again. We're happier for it for, it, for some of you. Um I don't know why I want to say get out of the singles reading. You're not even single. Some some uh, coupled and taken Gemini's that is acting single or responding to a past person. So they have to respond back to someone. So someone, some of you are in a relationship, excuse me, uh, but a past person is reaching out and you're going to respond. You're going to reach out and you're going to go out of your way to explain to them. I'm in love. I'm happy. <laughs> You know the petty stuff. That's that's for those of you, but we're talking about singles. Yeah, guys, I just really get like first of all, it's gonna be kind of aggravating or frustrating. Um either having to deal with children, family, outside of love. Um, and you could attract people who have family who's already set up in life or you want that and they're too busy. They don't want that. They can't provide it. Something like that. Or you just get super duper busy. That sort of thing. Something like that. So um, there's love all around you. I would be shocked um, if you don't hear back from someone or if you don't reach out to anyone and try to recoup and repair a relationship. It's, that's all your cards are saying at this time for Gemini singles. Couples. You're holding on to them, but you're also you also could be holding on to a grudge. If you're not getting the sex that you want, you could be acting up and acting the hell out. OK, um, it may be hard for you. For some of you, you may not want to engage in the kind of sex or um, entertainment that you have in the past. Some of you may feel like your par partner is becoming more and more creepy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Some of you could be pregnant. And because you can't be intimate, your person may be up to things. Could be that. Um, others of you, they're not up to anything. They're just holding tight. But they may be watching porn. Like something like that. It may not be another person. But it could be like other things that they're getting into. And you definitely, if you guys have started doing interesting sexual escapades, it's kind of, it might veer in a side of creepy. Like, what is going on here? And I'm not doing this. <laughs> really? You're not? <laughs> or someone... It feels that way. Aside from that, it's this relationship could prove a bit toxic. You are acknowledging that you still love your person. You're holding on to them. But some of you could be kind of preparing yourself, like safeguarding yourself. Like you won't take my money. You're not going to take this. You're not. And you can't have that. And you're not taking this. And I'm going to make sure you don't have that. That type of thing. So there's a sense of you not really trusting these, this person, your partner, Gemini, because there's a lack of trust. There's a lack of um trust basically like you really don't trust them or you may feel they don't with you but if you're the person that has the finances assets something like that you're really going to start protecting those things and somebody could be up to no good and i do see that 
challenge with them is that it's hard for them to uh, get over things and for the two of you to get back on track um you guys may be headed toward a divorce or a separation or a breakup um and this person could play hot and cold with you or one minute that if you play hot and cold like if you're in and out sometimes they're okay with it other times now suddenly you want to put their foot down and make all these threats so you may feel like they're all over the place that sort of thing you still want it and you're going to give to it some of you may be feeling like it's better to just go with the flow so i don't lose money you know it's cheaper to keep the person that sort of thing and i am happy but that's going to change when we get into pisces season for some of you scorpio season you may be thinking like no I, this is you know i have to make a change you know down the line hold on guys your card you're really at a place where you're really not sure about what you're going to do at this time. You're very conflicted. Some of you, if like I said, if this has been like we indulge a lot, we do strange things together. You're you're not going to like it anymore. So I'm telling you something about this dynamic where you was giving and it was OK and everything was fine. That shit is going to change. If you're the Gemini that's giving all this money, like you're the person that shows up, you can be counted on. You're giving, you're doing that shit is about to change. I already know things are going to change with you, Gemini, because Uranus is going into your sign. So there's going to be an element of you that's changing why because your needs are not being met i'm telling you gemini's are starting to put their foot down something about you guys are going to be putting your foot down that's what it looks like to me um but you know if you guys are at a distance i do see you going to see them i do see you setting up some time to to, to go see them wanting to spend time with them maybe needing to communicate that sort of thing for others of you gemini's if you guys spend too much time together this week you're going to want to get away from them take a trip or travel go someplace else take some time to yourself is what it looks like to me how do you feel about gemini they're not communicating but they want to make amends they want everything to be okay you know you this is someone if they love you gemini they want you to put your foot down about them they want you to fight for them they want you to show them just how much they that you truly do love them um uh, but also they can see that you truly love them as well especially if they're a woman they may know that you know my, my man or my woman they don't play about me like they're serious about me and that's why i love them so much they may have lied some lied to you about something or kept something from you um but this person they do care a lot about you and to two of you, if there's a distance, like you don't live anywhere around each other, that may be a bit of a challenge here. But I don't feel like they're going to stop being with you because of it. They may feel like you need to get your mind right. You need to go talk to someone. Um, they may feel like how you make money or what you do for money, something about that like that or the practical areas of you could be a bit challenged. Um, that may be a bit challenging between the two of you. Um, but you stay together. It's something like we're, it, something is broken here and uh, doesn't work for us, but we're staying together because that's what you do. You stay together, especially if you're dealing with a cancer or something around. We're going to stay together no matter what. Others of you, there's some stresses about an ex, um, especially as it relates to children or if you're sh if you're sharing money with other people, um, your mate may have a problem with it. Like, yeah, we would have a lot more money if you didn't have to. That type of that type of thing. OK. And some of you are hanging on by a thread in this relationship. Oh, shit, it's already 10 minutes. The challenge with you is that, you know, this relationship at times can run hot and cold. Um, you may not be the most emotional person, emotionally available person, and they want more from you. They also may want more money from you, more more emotional availability from you. Um, and they want some honesty. Hold on. I'm not doing that. I, um, yeah, they want to stay with you, even though you get on their nerves from time to time. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Yeah. And what is this about for them? Yeah, for some of you, if you do, some of you may do whatever you do for work or business, it doesn't really bring in the money. And they may be saying, like, I need you to step it up financially. I need you to get something you do. Like, even if you get a lot of readings, you may do tarot, something like that. They may feel like, no, this is not going to work. If you are on the Internet, the tool you are on the Internet, it's something like they want you to take a step back from the type of work that you do or how you make money. 
and um, to get something a little bit more practical, put more time and energy into the relationship or into you making money. So the two of you can make money together, something like that, or work on, you know, um, a relationship of the past. Something like that is what it looks like to me. And they're going to um, kind of want to get in a healthy place with you. This person, just like you, they want something more healthy. There may be lack of sex. Um, they want to spend time, but they may not want to have sex, something like that. Or they may not really give a lot of energy toward the physical aspect together. Something like that. That's what I have for you guys. Now let's look at Cancer. Hi, Cancers. Uh, for those of you who are interested in your own personal reading, do check out the link in the description box below. Uh, you're showing up. Oh, I won't be. I will just be reading singles in a general sense. If this, if they, if the sex has come up, I will uh, make mention of that. Uh, so, singles, you're showing up as someone that's not here to play, not playing any games. Some of you could be announcing that you're pregnant. You just had a baby out of nowhere. Um, some things have come to your attention. Like you could be focusing on other things in your life and solidifying those things more so than love. But I also see wanting to get back on track or balance some things out in a love situation. You're trying to make a decision. Do you reach out or accept someone's invitation this coming week? There's some unresolved stuff going on with a past person everybody's kind of getting that uh so you could be cutting someone out but holding on to them at the same time don't be shocked if someone texts you reaches out call you um and it may take some time so if this is something to repair or even a new person coming in um it will take time before the two of you get to this place it could take upwards of like four months some of you, it may even be like a two year thing that you haven't spoke to someone. It could be upwards of two years. And now the two of you are coming back together again. Something like that. That there has been some time of wait or taking a step back. You're going to be up for it. Like you want to date, you want to go out, you want to have some fun, and then you want to focus on work and other things in your life. So you might be approaching love, can't sing or can't single cancers, excuse me, in a very healthy sort of way. And it definitely could be someone who, you know, likes you, you like them too. You guys are dating, you're going out, spending time together, but you are definitely holding back. Like you're not opening your yourself and your life up to anyone, you, you know. Just going with the flow and enjoying yourself, but not necessarily giving much more of that than that. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I want to um, cough or something. Cancer couples. How you feel about your person? Person is devoted practical steadfast individual that may have a lot on their plate who is very successful who does great as an individual and may just kind of be all over the place or have a, like i said a lot going on this week um that's trying to kind of make some things happen either make some things happen between the two of you um, or make something happen in their own personal life okay um here if some of you are a star, like your face is on the screen, this person could be um, funding that for you. They could be funding funding that for you or helping you in some kind of way if you are on the screen, on the big screen. Otherwise, this is someone who may be cooking up something, but you could know about it. Like they're preparing something um, for you. Or their life. They're very successful and they plan to be even more successful. And if this is just a new relationship, Cancer, and um, you guys are just now getting to know each other, they are going to have a choice to choose you over another person. They may not be choosing you. They could be choosing someone else. And some of you could find out that they're already in a relationship. Uh, her, her related to someone. Um, they may be married, something like that. This is weird because this is for couples. So some of you can discover that this person is um, already taken or something is going on. So yeah, something's going on. Okay. You're challenged with them. 
you know they're too cold they're too cold they could be verbally nasty at times they're too cunning and strategic all the time um yeah they could be quite strategic and they may be very hurtful in the things that they say and they may be a help hazard like they they speak before that they, they think is what it looks like to me and then they may think like they're gonna get um love and attention later on that night and it's like no get out of here <laughs> Uh, but they say you're, you're moody, but it's like you need to watch what you say. You need to watch how you handle me. It's that type of thing. You may have a huge gripe of the way someone communicates and how they handle you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You do want it, but at the same time, now if you're a cancer man, the two of you may be on the outs or you may just be you know behaving a certain kind of way distancing yourself because they may not really realize just how much they've hurt you you know and you may feel like you forced me to get mean you forced me to do because of the way that they've handled you um and some of you cancel ladies you're gonna curse them out and make them feel like you, <laughs> you can put their ass dead in their place <laughs> you may cut them completely off <laughs> and that will be their punishment they'll be right back apologizing but yeah you're gonna put them in their place <laughs> Ooh, child this could be someone too i don't know why i'm getting like lovers and friends so i don't know something like that i don't know what that means but um yeah um you're kind of just going to be enjoying your person it just may be one of those weeks where you had to you know how you have to correct your mate but everything is good otherwise that sort of thing and though deep down you're happy and you're happy to be with them and that sort of thing you know but it just may be a little drama filled this week. Their feelings for you, Cancer. Yeah, that you either curse them out, put your foot down, threatening to cut them out, that sort of thing. They feel like this relationship has problems or it was problematic. And that's why there hasn't been any communication. There could have been lies or deceit. Um, but they're still either if the two of you are not in communication, then they are repairing and hopeful and trying to recover. Um, there's a lot of possibility of getting this back on track and working this in a really great sort of way. There's also a great opportunity for for you guys to um, be on a big screen, one, if not both of you. So like start um, doing videos or being on platforms, something like that. <laughs> and if you are, that may have been the reason why this relationship is problematic, uh, something like that. But they're they are trying to recover from this. They're challenged with you. I gotta hurry up. Um, that you kind of left them alone on their own. Yeah, you take a long time to come back around to things. You focus on work that's more important to you. Or when you focus on something that's hard for you to let it go. Um, and so it makes it hard for the two of you to really develop a relationship or make it better. They definitely still want this. They're devoted to it. They're invested in it. They're going to hold back, but, you know, they will be willing to work things out is what it looks like to me. They're going to go with the flow. So however you are behaving there, they will match that. And their real gripes that they have, um, they're not going to tell you. They're going to keep it to themselves. Um, I also see that they may need some wellness days. That's a side note. That's what I have for cancers now. Let's look at Leo. Hi, Leo. For those of you who are interested in your own personal reading, check out the link in the description box below. Uh, I'll only be focusing on a, um, the general aspect of the singles read. If the if the sex has come out, I will indicate that. So, Leo, uh, singles, love, love. You've changed. Things are changing with you. You um, are putting the past behind you and you're kind of putting your foot down. You may be really... Um, serious about people that you meet like you're playing no games you're not you're not here for anyone playing games with your heart yeah you're taking a break from love you don't trust people you want love big time but you want it from someone specific as someone who you want it from or it could also have been that someone exposed you um someone exposed you or, or everyone knows exactly where your heart lies something like that
And as a result, you could be focusing on the person that um, you may feel like this is the person that got away because it's real. It's just horrible out there. Um, so it may just be a lot going on out there in a single sphere. And um, you're kind of taking a step back from it. Couples. Yeah, still kind of attached to your past so, yeah you are holding on to the past and also holding on to your money with um a gemini some of you may have a gemini that's not talking to you or hell could have broke loose they're taking a step back from you um you're still holding on to that person but you may be thinking if they want if, do they want this anymore should i walk away you know i'm gonna wait this amount of time and then i'm gonna leave it and, and leave it behind I mean, this is singles. This is for you singles. So you could very much have been a, in a couple, but now single or just going through a rough patch with your person. Others of you who've been single, you're thinking about that person. And so I do see, I don't really see lo new love coming to you guys this week. I see more of you reminiscing and, and attached to the past. And trying to emotionally detach yourself and focusing more on your money, your finances. Couples, Leo, how do you feel about your person? Well, you may be apart from them. You miss them. There's a lot of communication and plans to get together. And then you'll be super duper happy. Um, your challenge is getting to them as quickly as you like because you really want to get to them. There also could be a challenge with third party outside people. But if that is a challenge, you're not going to be honest about it. You're going to lie, 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 lie. Um, um, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, you do want this, Leo. Um You do still want this. Your mate could, it may be challenging be trying to get back into a good place with your mate. Um, some of you could be trying to, you know, be patient, trying to work your way back into their good graces. You may be putting your goddamn foot down if they've done something wrong or have lied to you. Um, and in an effort to try to repair this, but you may find, just like I was telling, I think, I guess, uh, Gemini, that, um, even though there could be like, yeah, we're working this out. Yeah, we're getting things straight. Yeah, we're being patient. We're going to try to see if we can work this out. Emotionally, there's a disconnect. And emotionally, someone is wanting better for themselves. They want to be happy again. They want to get to their happier place. But I don't feel like somebody's going to give up on you either. So you may definitely have someone still trying to fight for this or you trying to fight for it, that sort of thing. And it gets a little funky. It gets a little messy before it can get better. Um, it does get better. Someone focused more on work and the other person um, kind of, if, if someone is a praying person, then they're going to pray this back into the right place. Um, they'll pray it back into the right place. You're going to speak your truth, but there's, 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 you have a, an agenda. So whatever you're going to communicate with your person, there's a, an agenda behind it. Even if you cut them out, even if you say, OK, this is not working, I'm going to take a step back. That isn't an effort for them to come to you, for them to remember who the hell you are. OK, <laughs> which it looks like they will. It will work. How do they feel about you, Leon? They love you. You're on a pedestal as far as they're concerned. Um, they know that things got to get bright and they're willing to do just that. They're giving, they're giving, but they're going to give to a point. Because they want to see something coming your way. And they also, listen, uh, some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Go back and look at that Gemini reading. This is really speaking to a Gemini, you and a Gemini. Um, but this person, they give, they give, they give. They will correct, they will correct, they will correct and give, give, give. But at the same time, they have to put their foot down, especially if they're the only ones giving or they're not getting anything out of it. They're not getting what they want out of the situation. Their challenge is kind of loving you the way they used to. Or getting love from you like they used to. Yeah, and the challenge could be... Um, some of you, this person is going through their own personal stuff. And so there's a challenge with 
focusing on you and giving you the nurture and the care that you need because they are going through their own strife. But others of you, this person is having a challenge loving you um, and giving you, giving to you. Because there's another person involved. So for some of you, you're struggling or they're juggling and they could be falling for another person. If, the, if, if it's the two of you in this relationship, then they may have been seeing another person and now they're starting to kind of develop something for them. They also may have a child. This relationship could turn more into business. Where it's more about the practical areas of life and not love anymore. Even though this woman still loves this man. And I do feel like this man wants loves this woman too. Um, but at the same time... He needs her to be better financially. So there's something about the practical side of this that may be challenging, if that makes sense. And for some of you, it's not practical. Like we do really well financially. Everything's great. But I need more love. I want love and attention. Others of you, it's I, you know, need you to step up financially. Something like that. That's all I keep saying. I mean, hold on. Yeah, they want this. They're going to come back to you, Leo. But I keep saying this is somebody that got a trick up their sleeve. Like they could be coming back to you. But at the same time, this is someone that's going to be is also working on their own independence behind the scenes. They're working on their own independence. Um, and that's going to help them get in a better headspace. They also may start moving independently, Leo, um, just to try to separate. So if the two of you work together, if you make money together, this person now wants their own shit. Yeah, they will help. And yeah, you, when you come and you're telling them and talking to them, they're listening and they're supporting you. But they're going to be working really on their own stuff so that they can have their own level of independence. If this is some issues between the two of you, you have someone here that is slowly and surely working on kind of being more self-sufficient and independent and less reliant on the two of you or even wanting this relationship. And you may start noticing that by Gemini season and Virgo season where this person is kind of moving different. It's like a slow but steady process happening here. They giving, like I said, but it's like a, I'm not so sure. Will they keep giving? And they may feel like, well, the moment I stop giving to you and don't give you what it is that you want, then it's going to be a problem. But again, this is someone who is develop, starting to develop their own independence. So they may feel like I'm going to have to you know, lick my wounds and cry, but eventually I'll get over it. Something like that. But they're nowhere near here. They're not here at all, at all in this in this connection between the two of you. I see slow and steady trying to move toward improving the relationship. But again, it could be very conflicting. Hopefully there's no outside people because that's only going to make this even more messy, more confusing, more problematic. Um, and someone could become even more egotistical, which is going to be a problem because the other person is almost going to feel like you're leaving me behind. But what about me? But what about that sort of thing? So that's what I have for you guys. Um, hope, um, yeah, that's what I have for Leo's. Now we're going to look at Virgo. Hi, Virgos. For those of you who are interested in your personal read, do check out the link in the description box below. Singles. I'm only going to focus on the general aspect of singles. If if the sex comes out, I will indicate that. Virgo singles, uh, you're keeping your eye on the prize. Some of you definitely, you look very appetizing as someone who is um, willing to take someone out, spend some time. Like you're coming across as someone who has... Um, who's worthy of being taken out and, and being um, put some money in and the time and attention into. You want to, you know, you know, work, love takes work and you're willing to put the work in. Um, you may feel like I'm fine with that. I have my shit together. So I know, you know, that I'm a good catch, that sort of thing. Um, but you may continue to attract um in and out people, people that's there for a good time. And then also some of you may be expecting more to come out of something that you get involved in when it's more of a good time. Some of you 
um, have a couple of people that you're interested in. You could be taking your time with one while you are secretly still kind of confused and sorrowful over another person. So some of you could be in enjoying a fire sign energy, uh, but mourning an earth sign to some extent. There could be a lot of communications coming your way for some of you, um, single Virgo. Someone is mourning you and they need to see you spend time with you. So they're going to come your way and want to repair this. Um, yeah, they've been missing you. Mm, I see a lot of holding back. I see either um, you may not trust them. So you're like, hell no, get out of here. And then they're going to be forced to leave. Um, or some of you that's still holding on to someone, you may want to reach out. And some of you, you may reach out, but you may not hear anything back. And then you have to leave and say, okay, fine. They don't want me or they don't want this, that sort of thing. So I get someone wanting to come in, but that person can't be trusted. Something about can't be trusted or someone doesn't want them. So it's like, ew, get out of here. It's that type of thing. Virgo couples. How do you feel about your person, Virgo? You're getting in a better headspace. The two of you could be moving into a better space together. Yeah, there could have been some coming back together and repairing this. And now you're happy for it together, Virgo. But you're putting your foot down. So if this has been any issues about... For some of you, this is some issues about um, somebody's um, cheating ways and you're stressed out about that because even though you're giving this another chance, it's like you you may not have much faith in it and that's stressing you out and keep and keeping your ass up at night. Others of you, um, this is you're happy. You're you're happier with your mate and at home with your family because that's where your love and your peace and your care is. But you have to get a new job or your mate needs a job. And you guys, you know, you may be stressed out over the money aspect. Like, you know, some we got to start making some money here. We got to you gotta make some money so that could be the stress and you're not so sure about it so it could be something personal that has nothing to do with your love partner um, but if it is it definitely speaks to um, some ill behavior and someone putting their foot down but again and trying to repair it but not having much faith in it even though they put their foot down even though you, you two are coming with like okay well we have to do it this way if we're gonna do it but there's still no faith in where the, the hell is gonna go and it still triggers the shit out of you your challenge with them is that um, you may feel like the, it's a one-sided power struggle. It's like the power is one-sided. Um, this person may be very ruthless in how they communicate. Um, sometimes you may feel like um, you don't know where you stand when it comes to the situation, but they do make you happy and you do want a relationship with this person or you want to stick stick in it. You want to repair it. You want it. You want it to grow. OK, if you want it to grow, but you may find that to be the very thing to be the challenge because of the things I've mentioned. You're conflicted a lot because this relationship is broken, even though you may be solid and stable um, and you love them and you do feel like they love you. You may feel like it's a burden and this shit is mad toxic and the sex is so good it has you spinning and it makes you very it makes it very difficult for you to disconnect from this person right um so you you kind of all over the place virgo with this situation with this person how do you feel about you virgo yeah confused and they're stubborn at the same time um they're happy with you or they're happiest with you, but this is a toxic situation and they could be quite ruthless uh, when the two of you, when it gets bad and then they want to come back around and work things out and buy you things or give you things to repair the situation to get back into your good grace. This shit is just toxic. They're challenged with you, Virgo. Um, that they don't really be knowing where you stand. It could be a lot of distance between the two of you or you can go cold on them and they always trying to figure you out and figure it out. Um, they may feel like you always need your ego stroked um, and you can find yourself disconnecting emotionally and you may be very sensitive and they're acknowledging that like Virgo is very sensitive. They constantly need affirm um, confirmation of some sort. Um, also, public so someone may want to keep it private the other person wanted to be public and that may be the challenge too and, it, and someone that wants to keep it private may be saying well why we have to keep it private oh because you you're lying you're cheating or something like that 
Um, and I also feel like you're not the most car caring, meaning you won't really be vulnerable. And if you do, um, it's only after things are bad, something like that. They're not so sure if the two of you, uh, if they want this. Why? Because they have very little faith that the two of you can get on on this in the right way. But they really do love you. They're going to continue to do that. They're going to continue to work with you and build this, even though you may not trust them or they may not so much trust it long term. Someone's family may be a problem here. So it's kind of like having to keep the people, you know, keep your mate or the mate away from the family, something like that, or money. Like you're not going to get my money. You're not going to, it's some, it's some underline. I don't really trust this, but I can't let it go. And uh, it's toxic. It's like all over the place. It's all the things I said. <laughs> That's what I have for Virgos. Now let's look at Libra. Hi Libra, for those of you who are interested in your personal read, do check out the link in the description box below. I'm only going to focus on the general aspect for singles. If I do see sexes, I'll be pointing that out to you guys. So Libra singles, you guys are getting in a better headspace. Still not the most trusting, still caught up in your head about things, but you're getting in a little better headspace and you may be willing to kind of um, date and, and work with people, that sort of thing. Yeah, you're holding on to someone, even though you have a lot of options, you're holding on to someone and some of you may feel like you're not going to spend any money on people. So some of you be careful with just having idle sex. I really kind of don't see that. And some of you may have learned your lesson not to just be having idle sex. You definitely can um, attract stalkers. STDs, anything. Um, so you may feel like love is too toxic. It's a drug. It's hard for you to get out of it when you get in, of, in it. It may be hard for you to get rid of people. This is going to just be difficult. I see engaging, wanting to go out, having a good time with someone. You definitely can. If Like if you, I'm thinking sex worker, you can get money right now. Definitely if you're a sex worker or if you like do escorting or something like that, which is more common than you think. They just calling it something else these days, but there's a lot of escorts out here. Uh, so you may be escorting, um, put, uh, paying for, like I said, paying for it or receiving money from it. But I see I'm um, having a good time enjoying yourself or having an opportunity to get out there and enjoy yourself dating, socializing, which is going to change because you're going to get back in your head over somebody that kind of wants to come back into your life. Or some of you want to go back to someone you want to go back to someone that you've been thinking about and not so sure about. And that's the person that you still hold on to. But it was fun while it lasted. Right. It's like, oh, I'm having a good time. Oh, shit. I don't want to be bothered with anybody. <laughs> Or someone could be watching you and stalking you. Like while you're trying to move on, someone just will not give you a break, won't leave you alone. Couples. Libra couples. How do you feel about your person? Uh, oh, shit. So they made you single. So you guys, you may feel like, oh, so they're acting like they're more single than they're in a relationship with me. They, they just they do whatever they want to do. Um, I'm always finding finding out things. They're always confirming to me that they would rather be single um, and independent person here you may find your person to just be very independent right they don't default to anyone themselves is what they do and you may feel like you always have to come to them to communicate with them to get approval from them almost like a child parent situation going on here, something like that um this person again if if it, it, it also if there was some hard decisions to make they chose themselves they didn't choose you they chose themselves and so now it's still up to you to try to figure out well where are we what does this mean that's that sort of thing okay um you're dealing with a very i'm here vulnerable but also a very um determined self-sufficient and stubborn person so trying to say i'm sorry and let's repair that's not going to be the goddamn easiest thing to do with this person repairing this is going to be a challenge not arguing and not you know being vulnerable and being the person someone's not going to be able to just be vulnerable and really tell you how they feel deep down inside um so that this can get back on track so this week it'll be a bit of a challenge 
somebody's behavior could be a bit challenging as well. You do want this. You will be the one reaching out, especially if you're a Libra man, but it could be the vice versa. <clears throat> you're going to be reaching out. You're going to be initiating contact. For some of you, you've been waiting for too long for sex. So now you really are going to try to get back on their good graces <laughs> to have sex, that sort of thing, to spend some time with them. How do they feel about you, Libra? They feel like you could be quite egotistical. You get a lot of attention. You're doing well in your in your life and you're happy now. They're not happy that you're happy, that everything is going well with you, that everything is great with you. They miss you. They want to work things out. They want to get back on track with you. Um, if this is not them going through that with you, they could be going through a loss in their own personal life, like loss of job, that sort of thing. So something personal could be going on with them. But if that's not the case, then there's the things I've mentioned. <clears throat> and they feel like you are very loving and giving you do give you give your fair share um, and you're always willing to work things out and make things better and they miss you if the two of you aren't talking right now there's too much silence not speaking secretly uh, there's some things the two of you really have to address to get back on the right track but one of you is just not doing it it could be them it could be you that's what they're acknowledging which is going to create a fallout and a fight and somebody exchanging harsh words and then then that's going to create i'm sorry i want to work this out i apologize They do need to communicate with you and they, they still love you. Um, they know that this is not over. There's so much unsaid things that needs to be addressed that still needs to be worked through. They're going to continue to keep the burden. They will. Um, this person works a lot, so they may have to work a lot. And that's why they can't reach out or anything. But then they'll be coming out of nowhere. Boom. Like they can literally just uh, wind up on your door on the name of we have to do this. We have to do that. Uh, but they're really trying to get you back in their good graces or get things to go their way. So if the two of you have been struggling with making a decision, they could be coming back and saying, well, we have to do this. OK, you have to do that. But their real reason behind it is to get you to see it their way or for them to get you back or for them to get back in your good graces because they want to have sex. They want to spend some time, <laughs> something like that. All right. So that's what we have for Libras. Now let's look at Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Uh, for those of you who are interested in your own personal love reading or reading, because I do all readings, uh, do check out the link in the description box below. Um, I'm going to be focusing on a general aspect for singles. If I see uh, sex, then I will indicate that. Uh, single Scorpios, uh, single Scorpios, you are really kind of still heartbroken or disconnected from someone people can see that they can see that you're heartbroken disappointed um, you have some problems even though they will still be coming in to want to love on you so you're still attracting people uh, loving people but they can sense that um, you've recently broken up with someone and you're still dealing with the effects of that You've had to walk away from love um, because you may feel like you love too hard and you love someone too hard and they friend zoned you or it was they were you were competing with other people and you may feel like you have to walk away. You can have someone wanting to reach out to take you out, spend some time with you. Um, it can get pretty messy because I don't know how the hell you go from let's spend some time let's hang out to cursing you out oh um, for some of you if you do not respond to someone it can get messy uh, for some of you if you Leah I keep getting if you don't respond if you don't continue your end of the bargain it can get messy like someone takes it completely out of context like you're you're like I don't feel so good oh yeah I'm not gonna go and you may not really feel good but for them they're taking offense to it and and then curse you out something like that you may want to take a break from someone not not communicate anymore and it can get a little messy something like that so be careful with that Scorpio but someone is they, the same person will be back to apologize to try to make it right um here 
someone could be coming in trying to buy your love, trying to buy you back in your in, into your life. That's not going to work. And, he, and they're going to get very angry. Only to turn around to try to repair and, and apologize. Um, I also see a new person coming into your life as well. Like somebody's just going to come into your life. A singles. Yeah, and you guys will have a mutual connection straight away. You may feel like you can invest and you can devote yourself to this, especially if you are the woman here. The woman will feel like she can really invest in this man. But unfortunately, this may be a broken man who still needs to do the work karmically, who hasn't and who um, sabotages himself quite a bit. Someone who, who can drink quite a bit. And but someone also. um there could be a, a, a like a ex-wife or pregnancy. Somebody like that type of thing. Um, yeah, this is someone that you would, especially if you're a Scorpio woman, take your time with this person because as you get to know them, you will see the cracks in the foundation. This person was put in your life or you them to repair and to recover and for them to get into a better place. Um, but they still may have some work to do. You may not know all of what's going on until like it's too late. Like what? 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 And then the more as time goes on, you learn more and more and more about this person who's quite broken, who may still be married or tied up in something like that sort of thing. Couples, how do you feel about your person, Scorpio? Oh, shit. Hmm. Well, you know that things is unresolved. Some things need to be taken care of and addressed uh, that you may be not ready to talk about it doesn't matter because they're going to reach out to you they're ready to talk about it some of you are going to be initiating the communication say what you have to say and get the hell out of there you may feel like um if the two of you are no longer it's because of their actions and it's like i'm not dealing with this anymore and i'm done so this could be a time when you know you couples there is a coming together and resolving or or having to face some unresolved things which only turns into it being resolved and it being done with and ended for good something like that now this may not be a really yeah it may not fully end but it's on its way it's kind of teetering like what the hell are we gonna do with this it's that type of thing like the two of you may be at the beginnings of the end if that makes sense your challenge with them communication secret somebody being really honest about how they feel is a challenge working on this developing this and someone taking this relationship serious because you have someone who's very serious and another person who's not as serious but there's a mutual connection here um so that makes everything challenging right when you're not on the same page they also could be an outside person if that is not the case because I'm seeing some third party energy here that could be a problematic and someone needs to clear up some shit like you need to get this together. You need to get this in place before so we can really make this real or we can get better. We can be better because this is creating a problem or something like that. You may not be saying anything about how you feel about this situation. What you know, it's a burden. Like, you may not be so sure and making a decision if you want it or not. You just know that it's a burden. It's too much. But you're going to continue to give to it. You're going to be holding back and keeping your stance, committing to whatever the two of you decided upon. Um... And staying rooted and committed to that and confident in that. Like you may have gripes and some issues and knowing that things need to change, but not deciding to talk about it, address the situation. You're going to hold up your end of the bargain, though. How do they feel about you, Scorpio? I know my voice sounds tired <laughs> or lazy, probably. Um, they are defensive guarded don't trust you um either they're coming to a conclusion or feel like they need to express how they feel they miss you it's unfortunate about this whole situation they're mourning either the loss of you or they're mourning something personal that has nothing to do with the two of you and you kind of have to be the supportive partner this is a lot of stress and burden on them 
but this is how they feel about you so they may be feeling that this is what's going on with you and just how they feel about you but they're a very stubborn person here scorpio somebody stubborn that is very loyal to you and love you um even though you may have changed on them they're not changing on you um or this woman truly loves this man he needs to make some changes he knows he needs to but they're still what is this but this is someone who may be so focused on money like money is a huge focus to them they are so used to being independent self-sufficient they don't have to default to anyone they know they need to make changes but that's hard for them to do you also may be dealing with someone scorpio especially if you're not married to them um someone who's still longing their ex with that they used to be married a family dynamic they still have to take care of so there's some things that they need to square away and take care of outside of the two of you to make things right you could also be putting your foot down like if you don't get this shit together we're not going to be together something like that And also a dis distance. Distance is happening here because I was telling you guys that there's someone who really wants this. The other person, maybe not so much. And there could be distance between the two of you. And this person is not playing like they was like, what are we doing? Like they're serious. They really want this to go. Um, and I just feel like the other person that may not be so on board, like they're having fun with it. There may be somebody else they have in mind, something like that. Like, it's a few things going on. I've already mentioned all of those things. So that's what I have for Scorpio. Now let's look at Sagittarius. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, they wanted it. If, you, if, if you're a Scorpio man, this woman is not going to have any actions towards you. You're going to have to make a move to her. If you're a Scorpio woman, then you're in a sweet spot. You may feel like it's nothing really for me to do. Um, and you both may be at um, kind of standing your ground or just waiting around that sort of thing. And for the most part, for some of you, this is just mundane stuff. This is not a big deal because I, I don't really see nobody. I don't excuse me. I don't really see anyone going anywhere. This could be something that lasts quite a, a long time. But I just sense very strongly here that somebody needs to clean up some family shit. They need to clean up some family shit or decide are you going to be with me? You're going to be with them. What's happening? Something third party, some family stuff has to get worked through. And someone is really... Um, Dragging their foot doing it. That's what I have for Scorpios now. It's got Sagittarius. Hi Sagittarius. Uh, for those of you who are interested in your own personal read. Do check out the link in the description box below. Um, I'm only going to focus on the single. A general portion of the singles. If I see the sexes come out. I will indicate that. So Sagittarius singles. I feel some of you are going to have some communication. Text messages. Emails. Communication coming to you out of nowhere. But you are showing up very clear and resolute okay um you could come across like nothing to play with but you are very nice as people communicate com continue to communicate with you you feel like it's over you're putting love on the back burner you may feel like you've given love a chance but you're done even though you're still kind of waiting on something or someone um but you're yeah you're putting it behind you and 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 un, like unexpectedly or um, unfortunately, um, again, you may have to get in a better headspace before you're really able to accept love or um, attract the kind of love that you want. So there's something about how you see love or whatever's going on in your life mentally could be uh, taking. A hold of you and that may make it a little difficult love wise and you may feel like it's a little toxic um, people just want sex uh, the people you're attracting they're toxic they want sex that sort of thing it's just unhealthy connections and that's what also makes it very challenging so you may also feel like um, you're not where you want to be in life so that also you may be attracting the wrong people something like that I don't really, well, 
you could have a past person want yeah okay um you may feel like nothing is really happening this week you're really focusing on your finances and how do you get your finances back on track or increase your finances there could be a job that comes for you um and then a few after that if that makes sense so some of you could be gearing up and preparing for more practical areas of your life this week there could be someone who you're missing but you won't reach out and then it could be that person reaches out to you or another person reaches out to you so don't be surprised if someone reaches out but i'm telling everybody that damn are we having some type of retrograde it's like some type of retrograde it's like a lot of past things coming back they want to see you they find you to be very sexy and attractive um but this is not someone who can provide a relationship with you this could be a broken connection like the two of you have tried it before but it doesn't work or it didn't work um some of you are pregnant this also could be someone that you've had a child with you have a child with um or someone who has a child or is in a relationship where there's a child sorry guys, i'm trying to pick up these cards where there's a child um or they're in a relationship with someone they're trying to they're trying to see you this is someone that could have left you when you were pregnant something like that yeah i would st i would definitely um take a step back from this and sit this one out because someone is coming in but they cannot be trusted they're not there for a long time they're there for a good time they may feel like the situation was a burden to begin with and it's a lot of on and off and on and off type of thing going on here they can't stop thinking about you um, and they want to work on work on something work this out yeah this is someone who has been mourning you for quite some time and now they need to confront it okay oh well excuse me for some of you some of you you're pregnant by this person others of you 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 have a child by them or they put you on a pedestal but this is someone that you haven't spoken to for quite some time and they may feel like they've done you wrong. They disappointed you and they want to make it right or they want to address them something. OK, they want to get something taken care of and squared away. But I still say the person can't be treated, can't be trusted. For some of you, this has nothing to do about love, like intimate love. This is all about family and having to resolve some family stuff that is about to come to an end. It's going to be over. If there's been a lot of drama and family aspects and having to take care of some family stuff, that's about to come to an end. And you guys will be able to work together and um, literally cooperate with each other, like the three of you or the group of you. If this is um, intimate love and someone's coming back into your life intimately, um, this is going to all of this back and forth is going to come to an end. This may be where the two of you can repair, but it'll come down the line or you are done with this person once and for all. It's like it's over. It's done. And then you can meet someone and you start to build with someone else. So someone else or something else repair is down the line. Something better is down the line. Something good can come out of it down the line. But first, you guys have to get past all of the bullshit, something like that couples how do you feel about your person Sagittarius well, you you feel like there's a lot of communication the two of you may be taking trip trips and travel you're happy with your person they make you feel good you feel like you guys have a very strong connection you're devoted to to you they're devoted to you you them and the two of you are discussing you know the next steps as far as like relationship where do we go where do we travel to um like that type of thing is what it looks like to me some of you are same sex loving and that's definitely the truth here and this is all about like where do we go next challenge here your challenge with them is um making a happy home together working on something or lack of working on things and putting in the effort there could be third party that's a challenge manipulation that could be a challenge uh, which is going to come to an end 
this is just such a contradiction of what the hell I just said. Um, you may feel like you really do you want this? Yes, you do. But if it's not something that's healthy for you, you could be really focusing on yourself and improving you and less about the relationship. Okay. You are going to some of you could be heading toward a proposal. Just what the wait a minute, hold on. Because I feel like, what the hell is going on here? Some of you are getting married. You're going to get married to this person. You guys are getting married. Um, you're going to become one. But it could be like the venue and finding the place and all of that could be a bit of a challenge here. Uh, what do we find a venue? Where do we go? That sort of thing. Uh, family members could be a challenge. That sort of thing. But I get the two of you being a possibly getting married. Mm hmm. Your person. Hold on, Sagittarius. They're confused and they can't stop thinking about the situation. They're stressed out. They're trying to get in a better place emotionally. But they're very conflicted and I feel like they have a they have trust issues. They don't trust you. They're very guarded. They're on defense and they're a little bit um, unsure about this and at a crossroads. Wait, hold on. This is all over the place. Um, their challenge with you could be third party. So if you step out a lot, that's their challenge with you. And they don't know what to do about that. Their challenge could be like this. They may feel more like a friendship bond with you than an intimate love relationship. They don't know how to tell you that. Their challenge could be getting away from you, getting away from this, getting away from the family, getting away from the expectations as well as telling you truly how they feel, like really telling you the truth of how they feel. Hmm. <sighs> but they're the type of person that'll be patient or they're going to be patient and they're going to give their part because they care about you. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. This is all over the place. It's not making any sense. It's like this person is not making sense because I feel like you have someone here who wants to say some other stuff. But even in their cards, they're so good at hiding shit and not saying anything that even the cards aren't really dragging out exactly what they want to say so even when they take a step back this person could go a long periods of not talking not saying anything you know whether you're with them or not they will just be really quiet but do know that they think and they feel a lot they just are really good at keeping everything concealed into themselves like they're really good at that and then they will play their position they'll just you know give you and love you and give you what you want but you'll never know truly how this person feels it's kind of interesting mm. Okay. And then the challenge with you could be loving you and seeing if that's going to change. Like how they feel now. Will it improve? Can it change? Will I eventually love Sagittarius truly? Something like that. <sighs> you know, you have somebody here <clears throat> that I do feel like you're like they own you. There's a sense of gear or their possession. Um, they do like the physical aspect of the two of you and they do sense that you do love them and there's there's mutual appreciation here but you have someone here who's also very possessive and you're my property and your minds to some extent but they also can be selfish about what they're selfish about like I have to work I have to work I this is my money this is my money it's something that they also are very selfish about too and some things that they need to that needs to still be resolved that they're not addressing and won't bring up. What the hell? OK, I'm going to wrap this up. They, this person is not planning on bringing whatever their whatever strife and drama they have. And they just are somebody that's really good at concealing things. They may be the type of person that's good at lying to themselves like that may have been their family culture where everybody kind of lied and just put on face. And so they don't know how to be honest, maybe not even to themselves.
they're guarded towards you they're going to be guarding themselves towards you and then coming towards you proposing something wanting to give something but at the same then turn around and being pissed at you this is somebody who i would say deep down inside if this is new you may need to give them some space because they need to get in a better place because they still holding on to hurt pain from some place if not you have somebody that got a lot of resentment towards you they resent you in some kind of way and it comes out when they're angry when they're pissed but they're resentful okay hold on i'm about to come off of here um somebody some of them are mad because especially if you guys aren't talking because of children they may feel like you won't talk to them and that's why they may feel like you, you they may feel like you have the upper hand in this situation i'm telling you something something is about children and that's why they're really pissed they can't talk to the kids you won't let them talk to them something like that or um they may feel like you have too much control in a relationship that they don't have any control something like that that's what i have for sagittarius now let's look at capricorn Hi Caps, uh, for those of you who like your personal read, you check out the link in the description box below. Single Capricorns, I'm not going to do man and woman, I'll just focus on a general, if the man and woman come up, I'll mention it. Uh, you are ready to get up and get out now. You may be dating a lot, um, engaging a lot with people, really up for dating and getting uh, getting out there and, and seeing people singles um yeah you're gonna make it happen if you're like i need i want someone i need someone you're gonna make it happen but it's hard to kind of build what you want with someone or out of something with someone because you're still mourning the past you can't stop thinking about somebody and, and some but you're not going to reach out to them um, you're going to want them to reach out to you this could be that person that you think about a lot some of you could go back to them after a while of wait like you can't wait anymore you're going to go back because you want to have sex or somebody's going to come back to you because they want to have sex but be careful you get pregnant some of you are already pregnant you don't even know it couples how do you feel about your present You got to trick up your sleeve as soon as they think that they're going to come with their shit. You got to trick up their, your sleeve, Capricorn. You may have to address a situation. Um, you'll say what you have to say. Either they're going to address something with you, but you have a trick up your sleeve. And then they're going to be the ones waiting on you. Or um, you're going to go and address something, but you have a trick up your sleeve. And then you're going to let it go. You're going to let it go. It's like, I said what I said, I'm letting it go. But don't come over here with your bullshit because I have a trick up my sleeve. It's something like a trick up your sleeve. There's no communication here. And you're not happy about this situation. Can't seem to get on the same track with this person. And also can't seem to let this situation go. Um... And there's love lost here, so it's going to be hard to repair it. You do, but you're putting your, you may still want this, but it's not really about wanting it. It's about right and right and wrong is wrong. So you're kind of like holding their feet at the fire, judging them, not having it, not communicating. And while, and since you are kind of taking control over the situation and taking back the control, you're getting in a better headspace about the situation. So as long as they do what they're supposed to do and make it right, you will be willing to kind of meet them halfway. But you're not playing. You're putting your fucking foot down. And for some of you, it's not even about meeting them anywhere. I'm getting a divorce and I'm going to get what I deserve to get from you. It's some divorce stuff going on too. Divorce separation. And you may know I am going to get what I, I'm going to get what I want out of you. I'm going to get this money. You may have evidence to prove that sort of thing. So they may need to watch it because you do have a trick up your sleeve something like that no you're walking away from this situation you don't want it anymore you're like i'm done with this situation and as a matter of fact do not call or contact me because i'm not answering and i'm going to focus on me so some of you are getting ready to cut somebody off and they may think like oh, okay well we're gonna no 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 we're not <laughs> Like you're not having it. You're gonna file for divorce, get your get your divorce money and leave. Oof. Others of you, it may not even be in a divorce, but it's still you're gonna leave. How does your person feel about you, Capricorn? Um 
they want to get together with you they can't stop thinking about you they're not so sure about they're not they're thinking pessimistically so they're not really hopeful and they feel like this situation is coming to an end they wanted you forever but they had to speak their truth like they wanted to they wanted to have you in their life forever okay they did they wanted it to be long term but they may have felt like you know they had either you spoke a truth or they had to speak their truth and they you cut them out them you that sort of thing and they're going to just try to heal and get their healing but they will also be very hopeful that the two of you can work things out they also may have felt like to some extent family members got involved you know the challenge is some things came out and it's kind of like unforgivable um they weren't really happy with the situation you may have somebody is feeling like it's all about them apologizing and really making this and an, an apologizing could be a challenge someone accepting an apology and opening up is a challenge holding back a challenge um and and then being confident that the two of you can work this out and it's worth investing in and it's worth being loyal to and devoted to is a challenge and they're not so sure about it. You know, this person is putting their foot down. They may feel like they have to choose them. They got to put themselves first. They got to put them first. And they got to put their foot down. Even if they may want it, it's not about that right now. For some of you, it's not about getting back together. It's about like, okay, we're going through a divorce. I'm fighting. You're fighting. I'm fighting too. Excuse me. Others of you. Um, yeah, that's it. It's like I'm putting my foot down. I'm going to say what I have to say. I don't give a damn where it goes. I'm going to say what I have to say. And they're going to be waiting around. Damn, this is drama between the two of y'all. Y'all are really at each other's asses. Like, oof. Um, it's a lot of drama. It can get real, real challenging. It can get real ruthless. Um, and then it stops. So hopefully it doesn't become physical, but I definitely see it getting kind of ruthless. So it's like tit for tat. You say something, I'm going to say something. You think you're going to get at me? I'm going to get back at you. It's tit for tat, tit for tat, tit for tat. And then friends are going to get involved. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you this. Some of you, this is just how your relationship is and it's toxic as hell. Like, yeah, we argue, we fuss, we fight, we yell and scream at each other, you know, but we always come back together. Yeah, so I see more of that could be the same. Like, we're going to yell and scream and argue and fuss and fight, that sort of thing. But I'm telling you, it's going to be toxic. This thing is going to keep going where one of you are going to have one foot in and one foot out. And the foot that you'll have in is going to be very like toxic. Like, no, I don't have any faith in this, but I'm really enjoying m my own life when I focus on myself and I make it all about me. The other person is going to have both feet in and they're going to be miserable. So I don't know who that's going to be, but it's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to pan out. And some of you can get pregnant. So be careful with that. That's what I have for Capricorn. It's very, very, um, I'm glad it's faster than the other readings. But it's a lot of shit going on. Like, what's going on, Capricorn? Now on to Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. For those of you who are um, interested in your own personal reading, do check out the link in the description box below. Uh, singles, I'm only going to focus on a general aspect. If I see opposites, if I see sexes, I will bring that up. Aquarius singles, you are the one that got away. Someone could be coming back to repair things and get things back on tra track. You also are someone that's open to love. You could be placed in someone's life and it's almost like love at first sight. Um, you are still licking your wounds, missing someone, um, thinking about someone from the past. Um, and it becomes too heavy. Love is just, you may feel like it's, it's challenging to give your heart again. It's because one, your heart is already taken. Um, so that's your challenge with love. It's a, is even giving you one to go because you still have someone else very much in your energy. It's coming up in your love life. Single, focusing on being single, healing, repairing your finances. Um, and someone could come back to you out of nowhere. Um... 
wanting to spend some time and get together with you. Uh, there can, as far as like where this can go, time will tell. But someone wants your attention, or you want, or, or they're willing to give you some attention, that sort of thing. Couples, Aquarius couples. How do you feel about your person, Aquarius? Um, there's some unresolved issues. The two of you are at a standstill and things need to change. You may feel emotionally you're ready to walk away even though you care about someone and you you truly want this. Like you want it to work out and you, because you love and you care about them. But you may be feeling like, well, they're changing on me. So what can I do? Others of you, if you were the stubborn one and things wasn't working out, um, somebody's, you're going to let that go and you're going to give love a chance. So you may be repairing your relationship too. You may feel like this person wants to be single and then they don't want to be single. They always want you to chase them. Um, that you always feel like you have to put your foot down. Um, and so it makes it hard for you to see the possibilities of where things can go in the future between the two of you. Mm -hmm. And even get the truth or express how you truly feel can be a challenge in this situation. I feel like you still want this, um, even though you're not trusting this person. A part of you kind of wants it. A part of you um, is struggling to trust them and believe them. You're going to hold back and, and um, wall up and hold back from them. Try to get in your own heads, better head space with this situation. Some of you are just going to try to be moving on from this situation. If they try to reach out and repair this with you, I see you kind of walling up, not really giving anything. Their feelings for you, Aquarius, they want to repair it and work things out. They care about you and they know you love them, but they're not so sure um, about if speaking their truth is the best way to go. Um, they want to talk and they will be communicating. They're going to be initiating some kind of communication so that the two of you can get in a better headspace. If this is about third party and outside people, this person does struggle with that. But they do know that they need to clean up their act. Their challenge with you is being happy. Somebody may have a drinking problem. Juggling more than just you. Money also could be a factor. And trying to repair this and start again is a challenge between the two of you. And they're not so sure about that. They do want this to some extent. You make them happy. They also may be happier when they've been drinking or indulging. This person, yes, they want it with you. They care a lot about you and they are. Um, they have an unhealthy connection with you. They want sex. They also have feelings for you, but also they can't um, they can't let you go. They can't, you know, it's too much. It's the sex is good. But this may be a lot of indulging, like um, where it becomes like a habit. Uh, somebody has a drug habit, a drinking habit, and that fuels all the rest of it between the two of you. That sort of thing. Yeah, I already said that. You have the fastest reading because it's so straightforward. It's just, I don't know. what It's not really not giving me. It's not nothing complicated. Because this is really about the two of you. You've been down these roads already with each other. If it's third party, then you've been there. You, everybody knows what they need to do. Your reading is not complicated, thank God. Um... I um what was I gonna say? This situation is a trial period the two of you are going through. It's a lot of stress and worry about, you know, is this gonna work? Can this work? Um somebody could be pregnant and that could be a challenge. Hopefully pregnancy goes to term. Um there could be a lot of drama because things kind of come up and out. So don't be surprised if somebody else gets exposed. Somebody might very well get exposed, which is really going to change the dynamics between this, between the two of you. Like if one of somebody's ex suspecting third party or you said you wouldn't. Now, all of a sudden, they, it's proof that they did something like that is going to create change. It's going to create fussing, fighting and drama between the two of you. And then it's going to take a long time, if ever, for the two of you to repair and get back on track. So I have for Aquarius. Now let's get Pisces.